Mayor Gloria. Kyle Tucker, lead us off with Jacob. Jacob, what, what do you think, you know, in an ideal world where things are working the way Cal is envisioning this, the offense looks for you guys when, when it's, when it's good, what is it supposed to look like? Team basketball. Uh, we need to drive. We need to find the open man. We have to um, create for each other. And uh, sometimes we don't do that. And once we buy into that, once we buy into team basketball, once we buy into finding the open man, getting a, uh, giving up a good shot for a great shot, that's when we'll start winning basketball games. Jerry Tipton, we'll come to you next. Jacob, I, I noticed you were guarding uh, Sharif some in the first half, and really he was contained in the first half. He got more going in the second. What happened in the first? What happened in the second? Um, other players on the team started uh, to hit shots, started to make plays. So we had to change up some things. We had to um, stop those other players because Sharif wasn't doing anything in the first half and other people were, so we had to focus more on uh, different players. John Hale, we'll come to you next. Jacob, how do you all avoid, you know, getting too desperate at this point? Obviously the losses have kind of piled up. How do you stay positive, stay focused and not let that get out of hand? We know, we know what kind of team we are. We've shown in a couple games what kind of team we can be. Um, we have to be more consistent. Uh, when we play team basketball, when we play our our type of basketball, we win games and we do good. So we just have to become more consistent and we'll start winning. Lonnie Demery, we'll come to you next. Um, Mr. Toppin, uh, your coach, he said that uh, you wanted, he needed to spread the floor in order for y'all to get good shots and, uh, you know, look, look for each other in, in the, uh, in the uh, realm of the offense because you didn't have anybody that could actually drive it to the hole. However, uh, he said that uh, he took uh, uh, Allen out because he wouldn't take an open shot. So how do you, how do you get too unselfish uh, in terms of trying to find shots, open shots? Yeah, um, some players uh, don't take those shots when they're open. Maybe it's mental because they miss uh, one shot. They don't shoot the next. That's just all mental. Um, once we get our mental strong, once we um, don't, once we're not worrying about the last shot, we'll start hitting shots and we'll start shooting shots when we're open. So that's just mental. Uh, we need to focus and dial in more. And if we're open, we need to shoot um, baskets and we need to make baskets because right now we're not making enough baskets. So once we start making baskets, we'll become a better team. John Clay, we'll come to you next. Yeah, yeah Jacob, kind of to follow up on that, they say that uh, when a team is hitting shots that it's contagious. When a team is missing shots, is that contagious as well? Does that, you put more pressure on yourself to try to make a shot when, when, you, when your teammates are missing? Um, maybe, I don't know. Uh, if one person's missing shots, the next person could make shots. I don't really think it's contagious unless everyone's missing shots. So I don't know, someone, we all have to step up and make shots. And once we do that, that's when we'll start playing um, basketball. That start, that's when we'll start winning games. So we just got to find a way to make shots. Like I said before, it's all mental. Larry Vaught, we'll come to you. Jacob, you talk about when everybody buys in, you think things will get better when they buy into team basketball. Why at this point of the season would anybody not be bought in on playing team basketball? Could you explain that a little more? Um, I think everyone's dialed in. I think we just have to become more consistent because uh, sometimes um, when we're playing basketball, some people tend to go off track and just try to do their own thing and just play me basketball. And that's what we don't need. Um, that just comes with experience. Uh, as we start playing more, well, we'll figure it out. That's it. We just got to figure out a way to just stay consistent and play, te uh, play team basketball. We have time for two more. John Hale first, and then Jerry, you'll uh, finish us off. 
Jacob, can you maybe just uh, walk us through the team discussion deciding to stand for the anthem today versus what you all did last week at Florida? We're always going to do what we uh, believe in. Um, we stand for what we believe in. Um, there was no discussion. We just chose to lock arms because we're going to stay united and we're going to still um, fight for what we believe in, whether it's a different way than what we did before. So that's all I have to say about that. Thank All right, you. Jerry, finish us off with Jacob. Yeah, Jacob, I just wonder what was uh, Coach Cal's message to the team after the game? What does he hope to get you guys get out of this? Toughness. We're supposed to be the tougher team every time, and uh, today we were not the tougher team. Uh, we did play with effort, uh, but we did not play with a lot of toughness. Um, in the first half, I think they had like 12 offensive rebounds that's unacceptable for any team. So we just need to find a way to get tougher and just play with some more grit.